Hi guys, it's Carla, and um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. For those of you that are my friends on Facebook, you already know, and for those of you that aren't my friends on Facebook, why the hell not? Seriously. <laughs> uh, someone said they had a hard time finding um, me on Facebook, and if you want to search by my email, it's um, bubblelush at gmail.com. So you just take off the. So it's just bubblelush at gmail.com. And you should be able to find me that way. So, yes. Um, excuse this. I'm getting ready to go to sleep. I just took a shower and blow dry my hair and it is so frizzy. It's so like dry and cold. My hair just keeps like... Um, but I did put on some lip gloss for you guys and it is like super kissable. Especially on this camera. Anyway. Um, so I was very nervous to go to the doctors. <laughs> I was just so nervous. Um, I think when you have PCOS, you just kind of figure that your body isn't going to respond the way it's supposed to. <laughs> you know, like, it's, it's just not going to behave. You know, like, you don't want to break out because prom is next week, and, um, you you barely have an inch of clear skin on your face or um you know you have a cruise in six months so you're trying to lose weight and it's like impossible you were just like packing on the pounds <laughs> so um and heaven forbid you like want to start your period it's just never gonna happen so i just i think um the past couple cycles you know my my body has responded and i produced a pretty good follicle and I think I was just expecting the shoe to drop you know like no way I could have three cycles in a row <laughs> like that would just be nuts so I was I was definitely concerned um, so I went in for my scan it was during lunch um, so the doctor was pretty quick <laughs> I don't blame her but um, I got in there and first she looked at my lining and my lining looked great. Um, it's 8.2 millimeters, which is good because they want it to be thicker than eight. And um, it had, it was grade three, it had three distinct lines. So it had a line between the uterine wall and you know where the endometrial lining started. And then uh, I had an, you know another line between the uterine cavity and where the endometrial lining started. And then there was a line in the middle and um, in the middle is like, uh, well, okay. So imagine, ooh, my camera or my thing is balancing here. It's balancing. Okay, let's get this all stable. Here we go. Okay, so like, let's say, hmm, shoot. All right, we're gonna tilt. Uterus is usually like this, but we're gonna do it like this because this is easier. Um, so there was a line here between the wall and the lining. There was a line here between the wall and the lining, and there was a line right down the middle. And this is um, like when your uterus expands, that's where the empty space would be. And that's where the um, embryo and everything would implant. So grade three was fabulous. She was really impressed with my lining. I was like, well, thanks, I tried. Uh, <laughs> so then she looked at my right ovary and it had a lot of um, small, ugly little cysts on it. It did not, it was not a pretty ovary. Usually my right ovary is like really photogenic. <laughs> and um, it just wasn't looking good this cycle. And so I was scared because my left ovary, you know, it, it pulled out, it pulled it out last cycle, but I wasn't sure I could do two in a row. And so, um, and it hides too, it's really hard to find. But, um, so she goes over on the left side and she's looking around and I go, remember, it's shy. And she was like, oh yeah, that's right. And, um, so she looks down and there is this freaking huge, huge, um, uh, black hole on the screen and it's kind of like right below my uterus. It's a weird little ovary. And, um, it was huge. 21 by 26. Huge. And, um, the doctor said that sucker looks like it's gonna bust. <laughs> it's funny because she's like a lady of very few words and that was the first time that she like even cracked a smile. <laughs> but her delivery was just great. Um, 
So we're doing the trigger tonight. We're doing it at 10.15. It is 9.15 right now. I'm waiting for the husband to get home. Um, BD tonight. We abstain tomorrow night, Thursday night. And then the IUI is Friday morning at 11.15. So I am stoked. I'm so stoked. Um, it's going to be my, let's see, break it down. This is my um, 11th cycle, my 7th medicated cycle, my 4th successful follicle. Very nice. And this will be my 3rd IUI. <clears throat> yes. Um, the one follicle that I got with Clomid, like my first good follicle, um, we did timed intercourse because I figured I would give my husband just a chance. Just give him a chance. Um, but when that didn't work, yeah, done. So... <laughs> Um, so I'm looking forward to the IUI. I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do the rest of the day, like how much time I want to take off work. Um, I know you can like totally go back, back, right back to work and, um, most likely I'll just be, oh, there we go. I'm trying to balance. Um, most likely I'll just be working at my desk. So I'm trying to figure it out, but I'm definitely taking it easy this weekend. <laughs> Yeah. So, <clears throat> that's it. That's my good news. One fabulous looking follicle, 21 by 26 millimeters. That's huge, right? I mean, that's the biggest one I've ever had. Um, my first one was like 18 millimeters, and then I had like a 21 millimeter, and then I think there was a 21 by 25 maybe in there somewhere. Um, but yeah, this one was pretty big. So it looked huge on the screen. It's crazy. Um, Chris was like super, super excited. <clears throat> so yeah, I was freaked out for nothing, but that's fine. I got a really great message from a girl that um, she's not a subscriber or anything, and she was just talking to me about possibly like the root cause of like why I was so anxious and so that was really great she was afraid that I was going to be um like offended or <laughs> think that she was crazy ah, I love that stuff um she totally made me smile too so that's great so yeah lovely um so this is the overdrill if you want to see what the uh, syringe looks like, you can check out my video. It's called TTC number uh, Needle in the Belly. And I show you what the overdrill looks like. So, that is my update. Long rambling eight minute update. But um, thank you so much for all the support and the baby dust and um, all the wonderful positive thoughts that you like put out into the universe because they all like went right into my left ovary right there. Love it. Okay. <laughs> so, um, have a good night and, um, I guess I'll update you after the IUI. All right. Bye guys. Thanks again. And, um, baby dust. Bye guys.